Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Gravity Forms and Salesforce. So the use case here is, whenever a new response is created in Gravity Forms, automatically create lead in Salesforce. Now let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Gravity Forms is a WordPress plugin that helps you to create forms in order to collect information. Whereas Salesforce is a CRM platform. The issue here is that these two software applications don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is an integration software which will help you to transfer data from Gravity Forms to Salesforce. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. So here I am at Google and now what I'm going to do is I'll go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I will hover over this product section over here and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to click on sign in. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. You just have to clone the template of the workflow. The link for the same is available in the description below the video. Once you clone the template, you will immediately get access to this workflow right in your account. So now I'm going to scroll down and here at connect, I am going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can see we have so many workflows already created over here. So now I'm going to create a new workflow by clicking on this create workflow button. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I'm going to name it as Gravity Forms to Salesforce Lead. Now I'm going to create it. Okay. So now in this workflow, we are going to integrate Gravity Forms with Salesforce. So first in Choose App, I am going to choose Gravity Forms. And now in Trigger Event, according to our workflow, whenever a new response is made in Gravity Forms, we want to create a lead in Salesforce. That is why new response here will be our Trigger Event. Now you might have a question in your mind that what is this term called Trigger Event? Let me tell you that automations run on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, whenever a new response is made in Gravity Forms, we want to create lead in Salesforce. That is why new response in Gravity Forms will be our trigger event, whereas creating lead in Salesforce will be our action event. So now after choosing the app and after choosing the trigger event, you can see a term called webhook URL and a URL displayed over here. Now you might again ask me what is this webhook URL and how is it helpful for us? Let me tell you that webhook is an essential way to get data from an external software at Pabli's end. So this webhook URL helps you to build a connection between Gravity Forms and Pabli Connect. So this webhook URL helps you to build a connection between the trigger software application and Pabli Connect. So here, what we do is after choosing the app and after choosing the trigger event, we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is Gravity Forms in our case. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and paste this webhook URL inside Gravity Forms so that you can read the instruction written here carefully. I am just going to follow it. So now I've already logged into my Gravity Forms over here. And now I'm going to go to my particular form. So I've already created so many forms here. So in order to get my lead, I have created this form. So I'm going to go to its form settings. And now here in form settings, I will go to my webhooks option. Okay. So now here I am going to add new webhook. Okay. So now here you can see I let the name be same and in request URL, I am going to paste the webhook URL from Pabli Connect. So I am just going to paste it. Okay. Now rest of the information will remain same. Now I'm going to click on update settings. Okay. So we have added the webhook here inside gravity forms. And now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I am going to click on capture webhook response. Okay. So now it is waiting for webhook response. That means it is time to go and create a new response in gravity forms. 
So I'll open this particular form over here and now we are going to fill it. So this is the Salesforce lead form. Name is going to be Stanley. Last name is Johnson. Email Stanley010 at the rate gmail.com. Phone number. I'll just put a phone number. Okay, address. I'll just map our address from here. Company. Pabli. Connect. Now I'm going to submit it. Okay, so we have submitted our response over here. Now it is time to go back to Pabli Connect. And now we are going to check if Pabli Connect has captured the data or not. So I'll go back to Pabli Connect. So you can see Pabli Connect has captured the data. You can see the date created, the date updated. If we come down, let us see the other information. You can see the name is here, email is here, phone number, address, everything is over here. Now I'll just save it. Okay. So here we have successfully finished our first step integration. That is integration of Gravity Forms and Pabli Connect. Now we'll begin with our second step integration where we will integrate Salesforce and Pabli Connect. So here in Choose app, I am going to choose Salesforce. And now an action event according to our workflow, whenever a new response is created through Gravity Forms, we want to create lead. That is why I am going to choose create lead because this is our action event. You can see we have various other action events available. You can select whichever action event you want according to your choice. And if you don't get the action event of your choice, you can contact our team at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. Now I am going to click on create lead. And I'm going to connect with Salesforce. Now under credentials, you can see we have two options. Either you can create new credential or you can select any existing credentials like this. So here I am going to connect with Salesforce. So now because I've already logged into my account, that is why it will be easy for me. I'm just going to allow it. You might have to just put your credentials. Authorization is successful. Okay. So now here you can see we have some empty fields and we have to fill the information according to our webhook response that we got. So we are just going to map these details. So last name, let us map the last name. It's here, it's Johnson. First name is Stanley, it is here. Title, I'm just going to leave it blank. Company, we have the company, it was Pabli. Phone number, yes, we have the phone number, it is here. Email, okay, website, description, let us write. Response from Gravity Forms. Lead source, I'll put it as other. Status, open, not contacted, rating, no need. Street, we have the address. Okay, city. Bhopal country is India. Okay, so I filled the required fields. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So you can see we have got the API response. That means we have successfully finished the integration of Gravity Forms and Salesforce here. Now let us go back to Salesforce and now let us check if a new lead is created there or not. So I'll go back to Salesforce. I have this option called leads over here. So you can see we have Stanley Johnson over here. I'm just going to open it. So you can see Stanley Johnson. We have the company name Pabli Connect. You can see the lead status, the rating, the phone number, email, the address is here. The description is also here, response from Gravity Forms. So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine. Now I'm going to show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. So I'm going to again open my form and I'm going to make a response. So name is going to be Isabella, last name Robert, email is Isabella089 at the rate gmail.com, phone number, okay address, I'll just put this address. Company Magnet Brains. Submit. Okay, so 
so i have created one more response through gravity forms now we'll go back to salesforce and now we are going to check if a new lead is created again or not so i'll go back to salesforce i'll just refresh this so you can see we have isabella robert over here i'll open it so you can see name is isabella robert company is magnet brains you can see the phone number the email address description so we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine now i'm going to show you what has happened in our example so in our example what has happened is first the information came from gravity forms to pabli connect then from pabli connect the information went to salesforce so now every time a new response is created in gravity forms automatically a lead will be created in salesforce so we have successfully finished the integration of gravity forms and salesforce using pabli connect not just these two software applications but you can integrate any software application using pabli connect if you have any query you can contact us at admin@pabli.com and you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com thank you